Now this is impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ano 1800. I mean, I meant to the man. We'll be building ourselves a research station, a research institute, actually. I finished up building the first phase. We actually have to unlock this, this building uh, by doing quests. Surprise, surprise. So once you're gonna do a few quests, uh, once actually uh, the uh, fart bender is gonna arrive in, uh, how do we call that thing? Already forgotten. <laughs> in Bessa, you're gonna get yourself access to this beauty. Now I finished it, uh, the first phase in the previous episode. I don't say there's anything fancy about the building process. It's basically another monument. So if you build the monument in the old world, if you build yourself a monument in the Arctic, it's exactly the same we thing. Deliver the resources. Finish. Yeah, okay, give me a second. So finish the phase. There you go. So now we got those. And yeah, I mean, this is completely acceptable, right? So a bit of a concrete, a bit of a steel beams, uh, a few windows, a bunch of engineers. Sure, start the process, build this thing quick. Oh, this is this is fancy. Is it just me or this is just looks like a more advanced version of the of the university? Kinda? Hard to say. I don't know. We'll see once this thing gets finished. So, Mbessa once again, they need supplies. Uh, okay. My airship is waiting. Uh, I'm gonna load much of this. And of course some meat. Right, my, my supplies are growing, so that's okay. Got the resources over here and you're gonna be fine. Now, what's the other thing I should try to worry about? Expect for the fact that she uh, constantly trying to buy out my island. What? What do you guys want? What? The Emperor what, what? may have granted you stewardship, but it will take more than a piece of paper to prove you care for Mbesa. Really? You still have doubts that I care about you little shit? Say you were invited to my home. What should you bring to honor the invitation? I really like those quests though. I have to point it out. I'm really glad this that the devs are... They are cool. uh, that it the devs are making something more than just simple point and click or bring. You know, they actually... They're actually trying to implement some drawing playing elements into the game. And this is really fine. Because, you know, like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, this is not the first Ano game that actually tries to implement some story, that actually tries to to bring some history over here. In the previous Ano games, maybe not in the first ones, but the previous ones for sure attempted something similar. There are for sure some really dedicated writers at Blue Byte, the guys who are actually responsible for the game. Ubisoft is just the publisher, but those are the guys that actually do the game. And they've proved it already a few times that they are capable of making Okay, maybe they're not capable of making another Game of Thrones story, but they are capable of making at least a decent good story. I really like the idea of the Pythorians, for example. I really like it, and I would love if they would expand this idea. I really love that they would put an actual DLC with the Pythorians, uh, that you actually have to fight with them, you know, so that I can actually use this gigantic fleet that I have built for something more than just, you know, show off. That would be great, but, you know, make the decision. The Emperor may have granted, okay, uh, what you bring to honor the invitation, gift of costly incest and oils would be appreciated, small on it wouldn't cascade would be expected. A gift of sweet honey at pasties, of course. Your Cultural shock. Are starting to get sick. I don't know, this one? And? Quite right! What use are gifts that cannot be shared, save for ostentatious displays of wealth? Oh! I don't know was that's actually the right answer. <laughs> Just a random pick. But outside of building the research institute, and I actually want to start to do some research, uh, you've probably noticed that if you're gonna go to the old ward and actually pick up the scholars, there are a few new things. Letter boots. I really don't know what to think about that thing. I don't even know where to get letter. But okay. Um, apparently there's a limit of how many scholar buildings you can actually build. So that's another thing. And then apparently they want rum. Something I'm not capable right now of, of making. So, uh, for the future notice, for sure I have to go back to the new world and we have to uh, plan somewhere uh, rum production. Because the only rum I got is basically a byproduct. A byproduct of other facilities working around. Sure, we got like a lot of rum over here. I could maybe try to use this one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, is there anything else I need to worry about? I don't think so. Yeah, for example, there's no RAM over here. Yeah, I know I have to build 
like a cigar factory over here somewhere around. Your but that's not the thing I'm gonna focus on today. Because for now, like, the situation is under control. No need to worry about it. Yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. So, I think... I think we can actually try to get the... Uh, the seafood. Because that's the only thing I'm currently missing over here from all of the productions. And we're gonna try to finish off the mission for the... Uh, Vaha, de Vaha Desert. In the Vaha Oasis. Just in case if they're gonna require the seafood thingy. Because we never know what those guys are gonna need. So, this is the island I wanted to build the... Uh, the, 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 the seafood thingy. Is this actually a good idea? <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know? Also, let's check out our, how's the situation with the glass at the moment. So, the glasses are getting made, which is very nice. Same goes for the light bulbs. Very nice, very nice. But I'm kind of thinking, uh... Oh! Well, that's new. Apparently, we got a problem with wood. Uh, okay. I was not expecting something like this to happen. Yeah, I don't have... Oh! Okay. This city is a magnet for genie. Hold on a second. How many of those I, I'm using? Uh. Wow, the demand is a lot bigger than I have expected. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Definitely, we'll have to probably start importing uh, logs over here. For now, I'm gonna build it in the middle of the city. Just because, you know, just to get the situation in control. After that, we're gonna probably, like, try to figure out something better. <laughs> okay, this is new. <laughs> oh, this is actually new. Oh, shit, boy. I was not expecting something like this to happen. In the meantime, I've brought some supplies uh, to this island. So let's see how exactly the entire construction of uh, chain tracks is gonna look over here. Just to have, like, a bigger picture around here. And how many fields I'm gonna actually have to... Uh, to build so okay, All right? So where's the kitchen thingy? There it is. How many things you're gonna need? So now those Ah shit, you're gonna require elders. Ah oh, crap. Okay. This thing also requires elders? Crap Okay, so I may actually have to stick to to farmers over here and then transport this thing back to the capital city. We'll see um, Death production So it's two of those each per one of those and then one of those can fuel two of those. Okay, that's that's not a bad idea. We, we can roll with, roll, roll with this, I guess. Now, how is it going to look if I'm going to build this thing with the tractors? It's a bit sad. 252 fields. Okay. But that's going to increase the productivity a lot. So I should probably keep this thing in mind. Also, uh, Town Hall. Okay, I'm looking for death farms. Right, so we have this really cool tool over here. Uh, items. Okay, trade union. Not too many Tef. changes, I hope. Death farm. Oh. Wait, what? Electricity? Does that farm require electricity? No, I don't think so. Oh, maintenance cost. Of course. You cannot. I cannot give electricity to the farm, but I can, what I can do is I can increase the maintenance cost of the farm. Yay, great idea. No, it's not. Shut up. And best of crop farms. There you go. So we can actually increase the productivity over here as well with those items. Uh, and apparently I can use noble modules. Okay, minus 10%. I could roll with an this. In one of your this factors. guy works. The plow also works. A fire broke out. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be useful. I think I have one of those somewhere around, and this thing also works. Hold on a second. Item source research institute. Yeah, eventually we're gonna get that thing. Monuments. Uh, what? Why did this? Wait, hold on a second. I can build. The warfare in the in the land of the lion? That doesn't have any bloody sense. Why there is a what is the icon of the land of the lion over here? Hmm. Okay, uh, large science or the other one, whatever, shut up. Okay. This guy of course works, which is great. Your ship has returned. So I can actually voyage. bring uh, specialists from the old world to help me around with this thing. Oh production buildings. The yeah, okay, whatever. Has been vanquished. Hmm. Increases production production by fifty percent. Ah, and this thing also works. I mean, it's... It's not as good as this thing. 
But I think I can work with this. Provides indigo fertility. Huh. All embassy crop farms. Minus 10% of uh, number of, of, of fields. I don't know if that's actually going to be that good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so for sure we can use this thing. For sure we can use this thing. So that's going to be 100%. Uh, I could try to use kindness. this thing eventually, but you could also try to use this thing. And this thing should be really easy to get. Yeah, the Emperor sells sell this thing. Okay, I can roll with it. So, the entire list of things I have to do is... Let's see. Mm, now, this thing also requires elders. Great. So, I need a fueling station. Which is interesting. Wait, did this always had an entr entrance and exit thingy? Okay, apparently I'm, I I had some misinformation over here. Uh, right, so we got the farm that here has 252 fields at the moment. Hmm. It doesn't say how many workforces it reduces, but okay, whatever. Okay, so how much is this thing is going to increase productivity? It's going to give me around 300, right? 300 productivity over here. And then I'm sending in the ships with some additional items that could potentially help me around with this thing. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Those those guys share the specialists. Spice farm and theft farm. Spice farm and theft farm. Hmm. Spices. Oh wait, items. Wrong wrong section. Uh, spice. Spice farm. Alright, so what can increase productivity around here? Hmm. So more or less the same items. They don't share uh they don't share like a like a like a specialized specialist. Basically most of them work on almost everything. Okay. So yeah, we, we can use those guys. Now the question is only how to get more plows. Finally found this bullshit. Okay, so that's gonna help. Uh, can I put it on the ship? Yes, I can. Okay, so take those two things and to the island. And I don't think there's anything else at the moment that could potentially be a uh, help of me. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Lobster. Okay, another one of those. Sure, why not? Lobster. Um, sure, why not? I think this is okay. Wait, actually, who works at the lobster farm? Uh. Ah. Oh, shepherds. I mean, sure, why not? It's, it's useful, right? For something. Okay, send the ship to the to the island. And let's start to build some shit. Uh, also, another ship should arrive. There we go. Send him also over here. And we're gonna start to do some, some clever building around. Okay, so I need to plan this thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, easier said than done. Right. I want to know first how this stupid range thingy works. So, I'm gonna temporarily build a middle thingy over here and let's see how this thing is gonna work so a peace deal. oh the capacity is over there so it's 46 over here so one tile each okay so the number of tiles increases oh second well, now it's 47 63 I'll hmm. keep it under my cloak okay Right. There are two, a bit too many mechanics at the same time happening around here. Which is a bit of a problem. A little tiny bit. But okay, I, we can manage. We can, we can manage. I just have to figure out how to do this thing in the proper way. Okay, so for sure the uh, trade union thing needs to be built in the middle. Alright, uh, let's see. Right, somewhere over here, let's say. Right? So, this... Water mill thingy, water pump is gonna go cover this area. I'm gonna probably build a small village over here. So this area will be covered. This area, actually, if I'm gonna go stick to the mountains, then this guy can go Good down course, here and spread sure. here, and then this guy can go over here somewhere around this this hill. I think that's gonna be good. So that's one thing. Second thing is that the fuel station can only work with uh, work with around 20 farms around it. 20 farms around it. Okay, so if I'm gonna the get this thing here done, let's say here, right? So wa uh, the water pump needs to get built here. 
I cannot order it to stop to work for now. Okay. So that's that thing. The fuel station. I'm kind of thinking about building the fuel station somewhere over here. Right? I hope it's gonna be actually a good idea. So that's the thing. Uh, now, let's say that I'm gonna have around 16 farms over here, right? So 8 each. Uh, where's the spicy food thingy? There it is. Okay, so... 8 of those... And 8 of those. More or less. So, can I build this somewhere around so we can have like a basic idea? Because yeah, I work this. better with pictures, you know? I'm way too dumb for plant instructions. Um, okay, now this is this is way too annoying. I'm just gonna make a harbor area thingy. Oh, there you go. Don't worry about the looks for now about the harbor, right? This is thing I'm gonna improve later on. No need to like wh wank, wank, <laughs> whine about it. Okay. Four and four and then crap, they have different shapes. Shit. Okay, but four and four, right? So, one fuel station should be easy capable of maintaining those guys with fuel. Uh, can I actually build? Yeah, I can build a fuel storage over here if needed to. But that's probably not gonna be necessary. I'm gonna bring fuel directly from the new world, so... Yeah, okay, whatever, nobody cares. So that's one thing. Now, let's see... Hmm. I'm not gonna increase the amount of fields. So, that, that, that idea can go through the window. I mean, it's pretty fancy, but I prefer to put the things that actually increase productivity around here. Okay, so 16 of those. How much I can uh, level up the warehouse? So, we got four. So, I need four of those. I'm gonna need four warehouses and I run out of wood. What? Technicians? The fuck is going on over I here? Stay here forever. You don't have lamps? What? How? Oh, because you don't have. Never mind. Ah, the research uh, center is getting built. We are good oh, ho, ho, ho. and in need of your generosity. Interesting. Come. Oh, this thing is loading like a bitch. Okay, finish. Hell yeah! Now this is impressive! Ha ha ha! Very nice indeed! This was forever my dream and now you made it true. Imagine now how the world shall join hands in research. Yeah, you wish. Dude, that doesn't work that way. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a bit longer on this one. Fuck off! Tread where none have trod before. Wow. I think this is gonna freeze my game completely. Okay, the game finally unfreeze that. Fields of research. Wow. How many? Investment cost. <laughs> uh, okay. Item development. Ah, this is what I'm talking about. So basically, it's just a man you can now create items you want. Wait, hold on a fucking second. This is. They have to research first something first to get access to the more advanced items. Yeah, probably that's how it works. Major discoveries. Ah, there we go. Campus permit. You can build scholar services from the scholar tab. Okay. Great esteem permit. Gra acquires the permits to construct additional great esteem. Yes. Peer upgrade allows uh, okay, which allows for further customization of trade routes. Very interesting research kit. Define an item you own to learn how to develop it in the research institute. I own. Move clay deposits. Yes. Move oil spill. Yes. Change deposit. Yes. Production. Uh, old world coffee production. Acquires the permit to build an advanced coffee roaster in the old world. You can build advanced coffee roasters from the advanced coffee roasters. Rum production, cotton production. Okay, this donation the to science. Is cut. Yeah, so if you have too many items, for example, I got 48 of those. Uh, okay, I don't want to donate everyone. I want to donate like 
t four because yeah, I got 48 of those. I'm not gonna use all of them. Like I'm gonna leave myself five of those, and I'll be completely fine. But I can donate them, very and I'm gonna get some research very points. Useful indeed. <laughs> uh, okay, what the heck? Oh. Shortage. Oh, I am at my limit at the moment. Okay, so I got limit of research points. Okay. So can I, for example, do something now here? Ready to steep myself in culture. Which subject seems the most worthy? Uh, okay, back. Let's see. Fields of research. Plants. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, I already screwed up, didn't I? Okay, so for example, I want, uh... Let's see. I want this ape. The people what? I did something? Your leadership. <laughs> what did I do? Wait, does, does that mean I can now construct that thing? No, not that. Not this thing. Item development. Ah, I can now build those things, so that's how it works. Oh, okay. So, identify specialists. No, 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 no. I recognize those bastards, but no. I need this. Are we to invest in ah, now we are talking. Invest. Uh, pilot flags, residences. Okay, this thing. Interesting. Soap factory. Okay, not exactly the things I need, but eventually you should get the things I need. Ah, now we are talking. This one is actually good. <laughs> hey, this is fine. This is this is nice. Okay, I need to donate something once again. Uh, don't donate all of them. So donate like three. Go back. Good thing I was collecting all of those specialists, you know, item development, and I can now construct those things. I just need 5,000 research points. How the hell am I supposed to get 5,000 research points? Okay, whatever. Invest. Ah, this is something I was looking for. Okay, one more. Oh. Well, what you look at that affects ceramic workshops and pipe makers. Affects residences. Workforce. Income, happiness. This is interesting. Okay, but how I can I increase the limit of science I have? I am one of the scholars. Yes, 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 one of the scholars. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I need scholars first. Limited to one per profile, you don't say. Cotton fabric. Oh! So that's how it works. So if I'm gonna develop this thing. I can use the sheep farms and the lumberjack to make a, uh, to make a cotton fabric. Okay, then this goes for ra I can use potatoes and coal to make rum? Really? I can make coffee out of malt houses? What type of a fucking sorcery is this? I mean, it's fancy, but I got coffee, right? This is not a problem for me at the moment, but what? People are okay. Happy to work hard. Screw you. This okay, so hold on a second. I need permits to build scholars first. Uh, no, not this thing. Major discoveries. There you go. Develop. We will obtain a new campus permit. Okay, and that means... I still cannot build those. Why the fuck We're I cannot build those things? Hold on a second. What? I can feel oh, you have to research that thing. Oh, click to change fertility. What? Oh, f fuck me in the ass and call me a bitch. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I can also change fertilities in the land of the lion. Oh, I can get lobsters over here. So basically, I can have the entire production chain on one island. <laughs> this is just going according to plan. Ah, there it is. I found it. Look, research points. Gained research points by fulfilling the scholar's needs, increasing the limit by attracting some scholar, uh, more scholars' resources. So my limit at the moment is 1,000. If I want to increase this thing, I need to get 500 scholars. Oh shit. So this is more or less what I need to squeeze over here. Uh, two fire departments, because this thing is gonna explode a lot, let's be honest, over here. Four warehouses and a bunch of farms. Will it work? Let's find out. Also, I wanted to see can I make actually canals on any train tracks or stuff like that. Uh, let's see. 
Can I? Okay, apparently there's no problem with that department. Sure. So basically, I'm gonna take the idea I've used so far in the old world, and I'm gonna try to adapt it to the to the land of the lion. Will it work? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Not to mention how the fuck this thing is supposed to go. Holy shit, man. <laughs> this is not gonna be so easy as I have expected. Crap. Hmm. I have something to think that making it over here would be actually easier because I could just dry a canal over here and then over here and put this thing in the middle. Maybe. I have to bring a small modification over here, so we have to do something like this regarding the warehouse and the fuel station. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, how the hell I'm supposed to make the canals around here? <laughs> oh, what the fuck I got myself into? Some people are probably like, just drag it! Well, I, I'm, tr I'm trying. Okay, I know for sure that the canal the has a range of leadership. four, right? He has a range of four. But I need to start it first, that's the problem. Is it my fault? Did you this too okay, it's not gonna be hard, I think, from this side. Because I could potentially just make a canal, let's say... Here. Somewhere. Yeah, but then again, it's gonna be a problem on this side to make canals. Yeah, it's just as I expected. I'm really starting to think that's gonna be a better idea to make it here. Like, over here instead of here. Yep, I've tried to move it to the other side. Nah, it's even worse over there, so I have to work with this thing here. Hmm, there's a lot of... A lot of farmland over here, so... Hmm... Yeah, I have to move this thing around. This is the biggest problem here, like, if I'm gonna move the fuel station a bit to this side... Yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay, though, okay. So if I'm gonna now destroy this thing here and this thing entirely, I can actually move the canal a bit closer. So that's gonna affect the entire thing. I've built the canal because I need to have, like, a bigger picture of this thing, right? How, how, it's, how it exactly works. Um, okay, elders give you the railroad connection, like this. Yeah, so this thing could potentially be here, I guess. Move this thing here. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to put the uh, fire station around here, and I think I figured out by uh, it by mistake. Where's the other one that I have? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, we could, we could work with this. I know I'm wasting a bit of a, you know... Uh, farmland around here, but but this actually gives me the result that I needed. Kinda. <laughs> Let's emphasize on kinda. I've came up with something like this, and I'm still running on the first pump, and I'm not even like close to its capacity. This this could potentially work. Uh, okay, I think I got the yeah we got the fuels over here, over here as well here as well okay that that could potentially work uh so how much we're gonna get from this thing so i got 10 wait what 10 no eight should be eight wait oh the other of course i forgot about those right so we got eight of each so that should supply uh four of those and that should supply eight of those but that doesn't take into the account all of the oil I'm gonna have, so I'm gonna have a surplus of this thing for sure. As I'm working on this thing, apparently the research center has finished its uh, its thing, so let's see... Somewhere over here? The left <laughs> Can't find abandoned. the Cape Delaney, what the f- So now I can build five of those. Yay, collect major discovery. Major discoveries, what else we could try to do? More of those, great. Okay, so Work scholars it is. No! Okay, so it's more or less the same size as the normal house. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so probably would be a good idea to build them some, somewhere close to this thing, but... I got my town halls around here, so... Yeah. Probably I have to remove the town hall from here and just, you know, slap myself a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of the scholars' houses. We'll see, we'll see. For now, let's just build it anywhere. Just to see what this thing even works as intended. Um, here for example? Is this a good, actually a good idea? 
Yeah, it should be fine. A new milestone. A new mi age of intellect. Good one. So they want canned food. Interesting. You want electricity? No problem. You want tailored suits? No idea what to get that thing. Radio tower? Holy shit. Ah, you wanted the food from uh, from Mbessa, so that's that's not a problem. Sure, invite you. Wait, hold on a second. Can I use the? Are you getting are you getting affected by a town hall? Yes, you are. Oh, this opens up some interesting options. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Buy some scholars plus four research points. So you producing me research points? Wait, how many people? 120 scholars lives over here? Jesus! What else do those guys require? Okay, require those sandals. Oh, this thing gives you research points. You require ram. <laughs> Interesting. You require bowler hats. Really? Okay, you require hibiscus tea. You require carpets. You require pipes. And you require gramophones. That's not a problem. Easy mode, easy mode. A bit of a more difficult mode. Uh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Sandals and ra the ram is gonna be the biggest problem around here. Like, let's be honest. Okay, and how? Oh. So I need to get the cows from from Enbessa, from the land of the lion, to make myself bo some boots. Oh. That's gonna be a bigger problem than I have expected. Sure. Also, the houses are not exactly three by three. They're a bit bigger. They're four by four. But then again, like 120 people can live over here. <laughs> it's cramped, man. It's cramped to the brim. <laughs> so I've built the bush uh, boot maker over here, and I should have one ship that goes with glass. Yeah, there you go. There's one ship that leaves uh, the capital city with glass and goes uh, to 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 to. to uh, what was the word? To Africa. <laughs> the land of the lion. Shut up. Even though I'm providing them with some basic resources, I need a lot more to get anywhere. I'm gonna get around 30 per house. I got five houses. That's like 150 scholars. And I need 300 to unlock the next goods that they're gonna need. Which I cannot access now. Great. I wonder what type of a bullshit this thing is gonna be. Also, I don't see any potential specialists I could try to this use in order to increase the productivity. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, right. Let's see. Oh, I was, uh, I was I forgot to check. Ah, so my limit of science is gonna increase once I'm gonna have 500, uh, 500 scholars. Okay, well, some back to the drawing board, I guess. So basically, in order to kickstart this thing, you need to sacrifice some items. Because otherwise you won't even be able to get the scholars. <laughs> Good job, Ubisoft! <laughs> Interesting thing, if you're gonna connect two water pumps, then the capacity is just gonna combine. That's a interest that's a thing I should actually check out sooner. You know, that will that will solve a lot of my problems. So I did something like this. It actually took me a while. I think I deleted this thing like at least ten times. I do believe that uh, the another permit for the scholars buildings is also is about to get finished. So that's, that's around to like 30 minutes, to be honest with you. I'm gonna probably delete this part. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh shit, I forgot about this thing. Oh crap. Okay, I can squeeze those farms over there. Uh, okay, just need to delete this thing here and attach you here. There you go. Phew, thank god. Okay. And this thing now is gonna work, so just in case if one of the fuel stations is gonna blow up, then we'll be able to take out the fire. The people and, celebrate as you see, leadership. I got covered at 8 farms. All of this, only to cover 8 farms. <laughs> oh my god! But, we got less, uh, I got like a, a bit more of the farmland thing around here, so we could also try to put the thing to good use. Like, I don't know, I could try to put some, maybe, uh, gold farms and stuff like that, you know, to... Uh, to how to put it you know to have more resources i guess oh the cows have actually arrived and i'm making uh, sandals to that thing okay so i wonder how much i i, I wonder can, what can actually benefit this thing <laughs> probably the guy in the green suit so that's 50 percent you know I, I think i can roll, roll with this thing somehow around uh, okay let's see cows 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 yeah well they're slowly growing 
I wonder how many of those, how many, how many... Uh... Okay? Well, you can provide a bunch of those. And that's just one factory. Okay, right now! So the specialists uh, have arrived, and look at him. He have old and new world's residences. Oh, excluding scholars, so this guy won't work on scholars. Ah, shit. Developers are more... Uh, how to put it? More clever than I think. Now it's gonna come the harder part. Because that, that th this thing here, that was the easier part. <laughs> now comes the harder part. <laughs> because it's gonna be even more fuck. Great, I got more scholars permits, so... Uh, temporary, I'm gonna put them over here. As I said, temporary. Oh, <laughs> of course I have to first go manually to the, to the university. The Click it. Also. Yes. Click it. Receive it. Thank you. Yeah, okay, screw that. you. Come again. Actually, don't. Fuck you. Okay, build those things. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm gonna need to build another university somewhere here. Workforce shortage. There you go. And you should get power and everything, and that's gonna be fine completely. Okay, so with those things, we should get the tailored suits unlocked. Just can't wait for this thing to unlock and you know, so see what type of a bullshit it's gonna be. This is great. Th th this is one of the best items like in the game when it comes to cloth production and I would love to have it. Like I can put this thing to some good use. Uh, okay, I have to I have to donate something once again to you bastards. I don't even know what to exactly. Hmm. We've got a lot of those. For sure I'm not gonna use that many. There we no go, five. To oh, actually a bit too many. Art. Donate. Knowledge. Beautiful. Those Can you shut up? Thanks. And let's see. Uh... Yeah. Oh, this thing works in the lan lantern smith. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome because that's in the land of the lion. I'm gonna take that thing. Okay, and crap. Uh, just wait a few more points. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And invest. Ah, animal farms. D this is like another great item. I wonder can this thing work in the in the land of the lion? That would be great. Fisheries and petal farms. Never seen this item in the game. Like, I have never seen this thing. Never. Oh, I can manufacture this bullshit? Ho ho! This, I'm starting to like this thing more than I should. Ah, great, I cannot get more campus because th that thing requires now uh, 2,000 uh, research points. And my limit is at the moment at 1,000. So, uh, I need to get more scholars first. If I want to get <laughs> more permits. God damn it. Sure, get the research that you can build. Build? Air quotes, specialists. Get basically the legendary specialists. Like this one is instead of okay, this one's actually useless. This is like the worst legendary uh, specialist in the entire game. But really? This guy? Like, do you know how hard it is to get this guy? And I'm actually using this guy in the new world. Like he's a great help when it comes to the Obelero's houses. What the fuck? This is great! New buildings have unlocked it, let me guess. Yep. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Okay, so I need linen. <laughs> I need linen <laughs> from Bessa. Okay. 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 And I need cotton. Okay. Okay. Sure. Suits. This is a nice building, by the way. Holy shit, man. Wow. This definitely can stay in the capital city. Like, I have no problem whatsoever with that thing. Like, I wanted to get myself more more uh, investors, but at the moment I'm sitting on 54,000. I could potentially maybe something exploded. How the fuck you managed to explode? I could potentially maybe squeeze like another maybe 10,000 or something like that, but... You know, the, the plan was to get one, uh, 100,000 investors over here. But I, I'm actually thinking about changing that plan. But then again, I got an island over here that's... Not really that busy. We could potentially get some industry over here running. Just for the scholars alone. I won't be able to squeeze any more industry over here. Like this island is is, is packed. There's no bloody... Uh, unless... Hmm. Okay, I could try to kick out this thing. But I'm not sure will the harbor will be capable of getting one more ship. Maybe. But yeah, I could try to destroy those, those uh, lumber yards thingies around here. 
and for example squeeze them over here somewhere like dedicate this island to supply uh dirigen with with logs and to supply and Bessa with clay right because i'm not making clay in the in the in the land of the lion i'm actually importing all of that clay from here so you know maybe maybe that's gonna be the thing i don't know we'll see for now it's actually going quite nicely i was expecting this thing to go a lot worse uh, this is gonna give me 23 scholars really now okay so we just have to get back to Mbessa and somehow get bloody ass linen out of here and then for a bit of a freeze game oh yeah <laughs> nice look it's a bit of a mess around here but oh, oh my god this is a mess oh my god those fields does not look good man when they are next to each other <laughs> i may have accidentally screwed it up a little bit but that's fine Okay, I just want to see how many fields are actually, you know, connected and stuff like that. Okay, this gives me a bigger picture. Alright, so we can work with this thing, I guess. We'll need a canal to okay, you need two more... Fuck, you need two more tiles and I don't even know what to squeeze them. Shit. Hmm. I'm not saying this is gonna be a problem, but it is gonna be pretty much a bloody ass problem. Okay, if I'm gonna do something like this... Righty, you got 41 fields, you got 70 fields, not much water nearby. you are missing two fields. I don't know where to put you, I don't know where to put you, I'm gonna just squeeze you here and pray for the best, I guess. Right, water is coming, that's nice. Um, yeah, and I kinda need to get more of those actually over here, which I can't, because reasons. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how it more or less progress. Okay, thank you. This is more or less how this thing is progressing. So uh, I need to start delivering uh, necessary goods to get the tailored suits. And after that, well, we just have to keep on getting more scholars and more and more and more. Um, I've noticed only one thing though. Apparently, uh, cultural science... Oh, the artifacts are over here. Animal, vegetable. Ooh, Aegean cultures. Wait, is this the thing I need? Hold on a second, because I needed a thingy for the Aegean cultures. I think it was here? No, 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 not this thing. Hold on a second. Is this the... No, I need like two scroll thingies. That's like the only thing I'm missing and I never managed to find it. In any of my expeditions, in any of my diving, never seen that item. Never, never. This is like the only chance for me to actually get a full fucking set. Because of the stupid energy in this game. Yay! Looking forward to another thing, ladies and gentlemen. But that's gonna be the thing I'm gonna actually try to do uh, during the future episodes. If you want to try the DLC yourself, link in description below. As always, go ahead, give it a try, man. It's worth it. Like, I actually recommend this DLC. I don't recommend too many DLCs in the game, for obvious reasons, but I highly uh, recommend this one. Like, if you have to pick two different DLCs, two? Yeah, two. If you have to pick two DLCs, Get the sunken treasures, which will basically unlock your crown falls uh, in Cape Trolani, and get yourself the the, you strong, uh, the land of the lion. Like that's an actual good DLC. Haven't seen a a good, a good DLC that I actually had fun since uh, since the sunken treasures, and I'm playing only basically on the sunken treasures. Like half of my game time. It's only because I got the second treasures. If I would not have the second treasures, I would be probably uh, left this game a long time ago. So, yeah, highly, highly better recommending this thing. And I'm gonna just keep on playing over here. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna get myself the rings of the kings. Only for that thing I'm getting that research. <laughs> oh, Bronze Age, not the thing. Oh, snowflakes. I'm looking for that set as well. So, as you can see, I've already found like four or five items that I for sure will have to make using the Trisha Center. So yeah, that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna try to focus on during the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like the episode, please subscribe. See you all in the next video.